All right, and again, he has custody. Bodie Miller has custody right now, and I'd mention the names again. He calls him Nathaniel. Mom calls him Samuel. That's how bad this has gotten. We need our one-man justice squad to bring some wisdom and, and uh, some discernment into all this. Jeff Gold back with us, great criminal defense attorney. All right, Jeff, before we get into the legalities and who's got jurisdiction, give me the headline. Who do you think is going to end up with custody at the end of the day? Don't go into the why. Just give me a who, and then we'll get into the why as we go. I don't know. Oh! It's, 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 <laughs> Mike, this is a crazy case because California and New York law are very different. So in California, the courts were dealing with this with the child, quote-unquote, in utero, a fetus. They were saying he had rights to custody. Um, the California uh, started it. New York allowed it to go on, but now that the baby's born, New York has reversed it and said, hey, baby's here, we're here, we say she's the mom, she ought to have the rights to custody, and now today, Bodie Miller is back in court in New York this time fighting that ruling. Okay, let's get a little deeper into these legalities. Who's got jurisdiction? California, what? where he filed for custody, or New York, where baby was born? And does it matter that baby was conceived in California? Well, uh, originally it mattered because California's law was friendly to the idea that he had some rights in utero to this, a fetus, uh, and New York was not, and said, listen, you don't have a baby. We're not talking about it because there's nothing to talk about custody. But now there is a baby. Now New York does say it has jurisdiction. And in fact, in most states, the baby's born in that state. That's where jurisdiction lies. And that's where Bodie Miller is here fighting over that baby now. But look, what kind of a football game is this, right? Yeah. He's a skier, but they're playing football with a little baby. That's crazy. Okay, well, let's start with baby. Let's go to baby. Again, nine-month-old, and they're calling him different names. That's how contentious this is. <laughs> how much does what is best for baby come into play here? Because that not that family court? That's what you do. You got it, Mike. You and I have covered these things. It's everything. What's right for the child is everything. So what's happened now is Bodie Miller has taken to the uh, to social media to kind of trash the mom. Now, look, it may be that this mom did trick him. It seems that's what he's been saying all along. I had a one-month relationship with you. Uh, you got pregnant on purpose to somehow, you know, lock me in as... Uh, it happens from time to time. I don't want anything to do with it, but you're a horrible mother. That's what mm. you know they're saying. And somebody must have heard closed, sealed documents about that to give him significant rights in California. Yeah, okay. The big issue here is the rights of mom slash pregnant mom versus rights of dad, father to be. I mean, you're talking big constitutional issues here, and whether or not a pregnant mom to be has the right to go to New York and starts going to school at Columbia. That's right. That's her right of liberty. And the fact that California was much more friendly to the argument uh, than New York was part of what Miller was uh, saying. He was saying, look, you did this on purpose. You fleed California because it was friendly to my point of view that I had rights here. Uh, and instead, you went to New York that said, no, you know, maybe not. So um, it's a big thing. Um, it's a big thing. More and more states are recognizes recognizing the rights of fetuses as if they were an individual. This is a huge issue, of mm -hmm. course, in the right to life movement as well. So you have a reverse spin here. California, which is a fairly liberal state in, in, in the abortion context, is also liberal in this context, saying dad has rights. But right now, I'm pretty sure the fight stays here in New York. They're fighting on New York law, which is fairly traditional. What is best for the child? And the last thing is that she was in the Marines and then a firefighter at Camp Lejeune. They're saying you have another child uh, and you give that child to a custodian, to, you know, a nanny or whatever else, uh, mm -hmm. others to take care of, so that you're not a great parent where we can take care of this, this child ourselves. So that's where it's going to be fought, just like you said What's best for the child? You know, and it gets back to, I asked you for a simple, who's getting custody? We don't know because it, it is so convoluted. Well, hopefully we've cleared it up. Jeff, great work as always. Our one-man justice squad, Jeff Gold. Uh, again, uh, we'll keep following this one. As Jeff mentioned, they're in court today.